It's 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning, and you know what that means. It's time for Saturday morning cereals. I'm your host, Paul, again, with some more cartoons. Um, you know what? To the people that come in the shop, tell me they like the show. Thank you. I love you guys. Uh, it means a lot to me that you guys are watching my show, that you're coming in the shop. That's awesome. Um, and I want to shout out to... The fact is, I got fans in Canada. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, you know, um, I'm going to try to bring all kinds of stuff um, and continue to bring the cartoons we've been bringing. We're going to mix it up again this week. We're going to bring some more stuff that we maybe we showed once before. Some stuff we've never showed before. So, you know what? I'm not going to lie. The only reason I'm still running Bucky O'Hare is I like watching Bucky O'Hare. So, i going to bring you episode four of Bucky O'Hare. Um, you know, Bucky O'Hare gets a lot of comparisons to uh, another uh, giant space-faring rabbit that's green. That is Jackson from Star Wars. The fact that they made him canon in the Marvel Universe, in the Marvel Disney comic books, um, that's funny. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I remember seeing that character when I was a kid, and I was like, "That's ridiculous." I was like, I don't know, four at the time, and I thought it was ridiculous then. I was a little kid. It was like, "Wow, you know, that doesn't seem right." But hey, Marvel ran with it, brought him back again. Hey, and the cool part about it is, is that Marvel has made one of my favorite characters canon. That they introduced back in the day in the old Marvel run of Star Wars. And that's Balance, the bounty hunter, the cyborg bounty hunter. Love that stuff. So, I'm going to let you have at it and enjoy this week's episodes of Bucky O'Hare and the Toad Menace. Episode 4. So, oh, before I get too far. Saturday Morning Serials, yet again, brought to you by Are You Game? The best comic book collectible... Uh, magic all around geek shop in all of Pickle, Ohio, located at 124 North Sunset Drive, Pickle, Ohio, 45356. And also the Group Therapy TV podcast. Because um, if it wasn't for the Group Therapy TV podcast, this wouldn't exist because I started out doing that and moved into this. So, a little bit of A, a little bit of B. Um, so, Back at it again. You can enjoy this week's episode of Bucky O'Hare, The Toad Menace, episode four, and we'll be back with more after this. to the righteous indignation. Do you read me, Jenny? Yes, loud and clear, Bucky. Any sign of trouble? Negative. No enemy patrol spotted yet. But there's got to be more toads around there somewhere. Ah, uh, Bucky, me boy, I wish you'd let old dead eye come with you. My fingers are itching to fry the what's up a few dozen fly munching toadies. Sorry, dead eye. This is one mission I have to do alone. That flea bag of a fur bag? bag of a fur bag. They have gone and made me mad! Undermanned with no way to contact Bucky. Blinky, take over the controls. I've got to reach Willie. <laughs> Willie, Willie, do you hear me? Yeah? Who's there? Willie, 
Use the memory stone. Jenny! Wow! I can hear you in my head! Willie, really, we're under attack and we've lost communications. Please come quickly. We need you. Uh, sure, you bet. I'm on my way! To see you again, Willie. Yeah, here's your battle suit. Okay, thanks, Bruiser. <laughs> and, and they need you up there. Jenny, what's going on? Where's Bucky? He's on Warren. He's consulting with his mentor. His mentor? Some mysterious teacher who taught him how to be a warrior. That's all Bucky would tell us. We've got to contact him. See if you can get that communications console working. Right, you got it. I'll never rest till I find where our captured people are and freed them from toad slavery. That's why I've come to seek the mentor's wisdom. Bucky O'Hare. Remember, it is easier to take a fortress from the inside by stealth than from outside by force. Bucky O'Hare! Get him! <laughs> All right, now! <laughs> we got him! We captured Bucky O'Hare! <laughs> we got him, Bucky O'Hare! <laughs> Okay, all fixed. Try calling Bucky now. Bucky, this is the righteous indignation. Come in, Bucky. It's working, but I still can't raise him. That means one thing. Something has happened to him. Full power, Blinky. We're going back to Warren. Get your slimy mitts off me. I'm not slaving for the likes of you, Ward Bags. Ooh. Does the big bad captain think he's too good to join the slave pens with his brothers? Well, we'll see. Get me the air marshal. Attention all slaves! I said attention! The new commander of the factory has arrived! You are to welcome the great and glorious hero of the Empire, his supreme toad ship, the Air Marshal! I have been set to ensure that this final project meets its deadline. You'll learn I do not tolerate laziness. Laziness, that wart. They work us until we can hardly move while they watch Toad TV. Not for much longer. Bucky O'Hare will save us. Oh, not this Bucky O'Hare character again. That's all you hares talk about. Look, he's the greatest hair warrior of all time. And he will come, you'll see. Yeah, sure. You'll excuse me if I don't hold my breath. You there! Shut up! And another thing! Any slave caught in the act of sabotage will be... Severely punished! Air Marshal, an urgent call from Captain Smarter! What? Smarter? Greetings, Air Marshal! I have incredible news! Look at this! Bucky O'Hare is our prisoner! Bucky O'Hare at last! Oh, how you will suffer at my hands! I'll, I'll find the deepest, darkest pit and, and, and throw you in it! Gee, thanks. I need a vacation. Captain Schmerder, send him to me here on Kinyar at once! Kinyar, eh? In the Minotaur Center? Yes. You're home till your fur falls out, mammal. Get him out of my sight. I take great pleasure in announcing a new slave on his way. Bucky O'Hare! Yes. 
How could it happen? How? He was our last hope. So much for your great warrior. Look, it's what I've said to you all along. We can't depend on anybody but ourselves. Listen, this is the perfect chance for me to sneak a look at their computers and figure out what this project really is. Cover me. Enough. Get back to work! Hey, where's that fox? Uh, she's, um, uh, she's, she's right here. See? Yeah, okay. You heard the air marshal. Back to work! I got it. But it's nothing I've ever seen before. Any idea what it is? It's a climate converter. That's what they used to turn our entire world into a sticky, icky, slimy, grungy, mucky swamp! Shh! We must destroy it. Follow my lead, boys. I have a plan. Captain Smarter, why was I not informed of the capture of Bucky O'Hare? Complex, but you are the master. You know all, I assumed. You assume too much. Put Bucky O'Hare in your fastest transport and send him back here. Yes, we have a score to settle with that repulsive rodent. Oh, I hear and I obey. Blinky, I've intercepted a scrambled tow transmission to that warship. Unscramble and play it back. Put Bucky O'Hare in your fastest transport and send him back here. Attention, all hands! The Toads have captured Bucky! We're going after them! Willie, I need full power from the engines. You've got it, Jenny! to the torture room. Looks like we'll be in pursuit by a mammal ship. Yeah, it's the righteous indignation. Toads might as well give up now. Nothing gets away from Jenny. Just hanging out a little with the toads. Needed to get some information. And now I think I understand what my mentor meant when he said, it's easier to take a fortress from the inside by stealth than from the outside by force. But how can we get inside fortress? We can't. But old Angus McChump can. Who? What's that? A hare! Let's round them up! Hands up, hare! Oh, don't hurt me. I give up. Oh, what do we do with them? Oh, please! Don't send old Angus McJunk to the slave factory! Anything but that! <laughs> Anything but that? Well, then that's just where we'll send ya! Uh, uh, uh. They sound like 
with the suffering. All we're doing is inputting Toad TV directly to their brains, ears, and eyes. Hmm, I wonder what's on. Yes, it's two papers in one. A wallpaper and a flypaper. Now you can brighten up your kitchen. And have lunch at the same time. Mmm, mmm. There's nothing like a quick fly snack on a beautiful wall. And remember, it comes in five enchanting decorated colors and flavors. The usual high standard at Toad TV. Maybe other species simply aren't ready for our superior cultural standards. Fritz, Fritz. It isn't fair! He was my slave! Mine! S -s 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 you c -c 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 called? Yes! Complex ordered Bucky O'Hare sent to him! He thinks I'm washed up! I'll show him! I'll finish the converter ahead of schedule! Order every single slave to work double shifts until it's done! Even those in the torture room? I said everyone! Join that worst gang over there! And Iris. Who are you? Does this help? Bucky, but, but... Shh! I'm here to organize a resistance group. We're gonna get everyone out. My ship will attack as soon as I knock out the toad defenses. We already have an excellent resistance operation in place. I'll take you to the leader tonight. A climate converter. The converter is nearly finished. We must strike now. Talk about a fox. If we fail, more worlds will fall to the toad scourge. Oh, if only Bucky O'Hare were here, he'd... Oh, Bucky O'Hare, Bucky O'Hare! If I hear the name Bucky O'Hare one more time, I'll scream. If you don't want me to lead you, say so. Shh, not a word. I'll handle this. Well, my vote goes for the little lady. Yes, yeah, sir. Angus McJump will follow you anywhere. Uh, thank you, Angus. Are the rest of you with me? You're yeah, with you, me. Me. We're with you, Mimi. I'll fight. I'll show those toads a thing or two. That's, that's good of you, sir, but I'm afraid we need the stronger, younger folks. Huh. I'll have you know I'm not a day over 93. All right. You can be a lookout. I hope you can see. Our entire plan depends on reaching the command platform at the top of the dome. I need the best jumper you've got. Larry was the best jumper on Warren, except for Bucky... Uh, you know who. Here's what we have to do. Gather round. Watch. Go. Hurry. We have to do this before they notice we're missing. Hey, where's that fox and the other heads? <laughs> What's that? It's the escape alarm. Don't worry, we'll find them. We've only got a minute before they spot us. Larry, it's up to you. I didn't realize it was so high. Mimi, I can't do it. It's no time to get cold feet. Everything depends on you. There they are. We're out of time. It's now or never. Oh, try. Forget it, kid. You'd never make it. I'll go. I told you to stay below. Sorry, foxy lady. I'm not too good at taking orders. It 
isn't my old friend, the Air Marshal. Pardon me for dropping in unannounced, but I've got a factory to shut down. You, you dirty rat! Hair! <laughs> me too! Uh Hairs of Warren, I've come to set you free. We ain't got no use! Our guns have been deactivated! It's Bucky! Bucky O'Hare! And he's magnificent. Our long-range sensors show the factory's defenses have gone down. Bucky's done it! Hang on, we're going in! Bucky O'Hare, you are the greatest! Yeah, nice work, old-timer. I like your style. Just one thing. Don't call me Foxy. Now, now this is fun. <laughs> wow. This looks just like the one we destroyed on Genus. I wonder if... Now hear this, you despicable furballs. You haven't escaped me yet. Unless you surrender and return to your slave pits, I will blow up this entire factory. But Air Marshal, sir, there are toads in there, too. Rats is in there. A small sacrifice, but why worry? The mammals have no choice but to surrender. I hope he must have the whole factory lined with explosives. We'll never get out of here. Oh, he's beaten us. Not that easy. Willie, hip up a little surprise for our toad friends. No problem, Bucky. I repeat, move into the slave pits at once. I am losing my patience. Okay, hit the power. The climate converter, they've turned it on. Willie, you're a genius. No problem. You know, I bet if your scientists work on this, it could reverse what it did to your planet. The United Animal Security Council names you captain of this new frigate. Congratulations, Captain Luffloo. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Thank Bucky O'Hare. It was his idea. I will. In my own way. Huh. Some people have no sense of propriety. Me humble android has name of new starship? The Screaming Mimi. Hi there, time for Timer, your roving reporter. I'm talking to you from inside a fantastic factory, your digestive system. You know what we build here? You! Not out of wood or metal, but out of food. You see? You are what you eat, from your head down to your feet. Things like meat and eggs and fish you need to build up muscle tissue. Uh-oh. Hello. Appetite control. More protein. We need energy. Playing tennis today, you know. Whoops. All these motors in your body need a lot of fuel to go on, like carbohydrates, fats and proteins, vitamins, and so on. What's left over forms the building blocks you need, indeed, to grow on. Yes, you are what you swallow, so that next time you feel hollow, don't just fill your face with any old kind of treat. This goes for every kid or six-foot athlete. All you really are is what you eat. Hi, my name is Roland, and these are fruit wrinkles. They're very small, but they taste like a whole bunch of fruit in your mouth. And these are fruit roll-ups. They're big and flat, and you can twist them and tear them. Whoa! With real fruit, that would be really messy. But fruit roll-ups and fruit wrinkles are made with real fruit. Right, Mom? Right, Roland. I like them because when they put in the fruit, they put in the fun, too. <laughs> All right. Hope you're still liking Bucky O'Hare. I like Aaron Bucky O'Hare, so 
we're going to keep doing it. Um, we're going to bring to you more Captain N, the Game Master. Um, it's funny because I still got people that come to the shop that tell me they hate it. That they hate their... In yeah, and don't get me wrong. It's a little weird. Mega Man's weird. You know, Mother Brain's weird. Uh, the reason they made King Hippo one of the main villains... Uh, their version of Simon Belmont. People hate it. I know so many people my age that have a soft spot in their heart for this cartoon. Because, uh, you know, it was early, early in the Nintendo. Uh, you know, yeah, we got Saturday Morning Super Cade, but that was more along the line of, like, the, the Atari versions of those characters. Um, <clears throat> but with Captain N, this is the first Nintendo incarnations of some of these. And the fact that we got, you know, Bayou Billy, we got Donkey Kong, we got King Hippo, we got all these characters, and there's going to be more to come. Um, but we got them all early in, in, you know, before they even had much backstory. So, I want you guys to enjoy this week's episode of Captain N, the Game Master, episode 3. So, enjoy! Welcome to Video Land! Mega High! Wake up, Kid Icarus! Welcome to Castle Deep! It's Congo Land! Siege! Behold, the ultimate warp zone! Kevin, I thought I told you to clean up your room. Game Master. Deep within the brain-shaped world of Metroid, a strange experiment will soon have an unexpected effect on Captain N, the Game Master. How are you coming with my little monster, Dr. Wiley? His body is finished, Mother Brain! Good! Then he's ready to challenge Captain E! Not yet! I need to program his uh, brain first. But for that, we'll need a special device I invented. Just aim it at Captain Ben. And it will record his memory of the past down on this tape. Then. All I have to do is program the data into my creation, and he will become Captain N's greatest challenge. Sounds delightful. We better get started. Oh, you beautiful peach, you. Oh, come to Eggy. That was one heavy dream. And remember, no foul up this time, you incompetent slobs! Hey, have we ever fouled up, Mother Brain? Can I give you one tiny boat for every time you've messed up my plan? Are you nuts? That would be a million votes! <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Palace of Power... Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow, they sure have some weird movies in Video Land, hey, Duke? Let's see what's on channel 4212. Oh, my favorite! Wombat Man! I just want to know one thing, Bruce. Are we going to try to love each other? Probably not. Now, where did I leave the keys to the Wombat Mobile, anyway? Hey, what happened to the picture? be the antenna again. I'll call the repair crew. Uh, here, let me help you with those dishes, princess. Oh, thanks. Oh, please. There's someone at the door, Kiss. I'll get it. Got here fast. Hmm. Don't I know you from someplace? Nope. Well, I've never been to someplace. Uh, been no place special a few times, but uh, never someplace. Oh. What's wrong with it? Well, it's obvious. I isn't it, Dr. Boomtube? Uh, yeah, sure, it's, uh, <laughs> your, uh, fugal beams. Yeah, that's it. Uh, they've been short-circuited by your bumper wonkies. Uh, wouldn't you agree, Dr. Dead Meat? Uh, uh, yes, well, uh, well, we better get to work before I get cream. I mean, so we can fix your screen. Quick, give me Dr. Wiley's gizmo, jerk breath. I could have sworn I put it next to the cauliflower. Beat it, flea bag. Jiffy, your dimpleness. What are you talking about? The repair crew isn't coming till tomorrow. Then who are. Ah. You stupid blimp! You're aiming at the wrong guy! Yeah. 
heaviness in the sucker team. Are you all right, Kevin? Man, that was the weirdest feeling. As if someone was peeking into my darkest memories. And there was someone from my past. But I can't remember who it was. We got it, Mother Brain! Excellent! You shall be well rewarded! Memories of Captain Ends are all I need to bring my creation to life. Palace of Power. Feeling any better this morning, Kevin? Much. Thanks. Sorry to interrupt your video play. <laughs> what do you want, Mother Brain? Oh, I just called to give Captain Ben my regards. I do hope you enjoy your retirement. Retirement? What are you talking about? Didn't you hear? You're not the game master anymore. You're second best now. Meet the real game master! Hey! <laughs> you can't scare me with your shadows, Mother Brain. Maybe not. But prepare to meet your match, Captain Ed. <laughs> There's a mega emergency call coming in. Kevin, you've got to help me. Mike Vincent? You know him? Yeah, he goes to the same school I do. Hey, Mike, how were you able to call me from home? I'm not home. I'm here in Video Land on Castlevania. Mother Brain sucked me through my TV screen. She sent this Game Master guy after me. Kevin, come quick. Please. You've got to go to Castlevania and help your friend. But he's not my friend. What? Well, that's what's so weird. Mike is my worst enemy. Ever since I was a kid, he's been beating me up. Friend or foe, he needs our help, I guess. Right. We've got to warp to Castlevania immediately. Wow. Me, rescuing me, Mike Vincent. What a concept. A short while later on the creepy world of Castlevania. Oh, Castlevania's a big place. How are we gonna find Mike? Just leave it to Simon Belmont, vampire hunter. Not to mention finder of lost dogs, pussycats, and loved ones. to find his friend. Relax, Simon. Duke will handle it. See if you can pick up the scent, boy. Come on! Not only can't he find Mike, but now he's got us lost, too. 
<laughs> What's wrong? Is it my hair? Is there something in my nose? Mike, you okay? We thought you were in trouble. The whole end team is here to help. Don't be a twerk, Keen. I don't want your help. I want your hide. Let's see if your end team can handle my M team. M for monsters, that is. at the new Game Master of Video Land. Let's see how good your end team really is, lame master. Hold it. I want a snapshot of this for my album. Whoa, whoa. Got it. And I got you, too. You look like you need someone to hug. Shoot him! Shoot him! Whatever you say, your highness. I said shoot him, not invite him to a party. <laughs> but it's a bon voyage party, see? Who's the game master now, Keen? I even got your girl. Just like the good old school days, eh? I'll get you for this, Mike, I swear it! Now that I've got the real game master on my side, nothing can stop me from conquering video land! You see, he's not really Mike Vincent. He's an android duplicate designed to beat Captain Ian. A what? <laughs> That's right, dude. 1,000 megabytes of memory and all of it programmed to get you. That's what I felt before. You pulled Mike out of my memory. He's not even real. Oh, he's worse than real. He's everything you're afraid of rolled into one. Come on, Keen. Just you and me through the worlds of Castlevania. Winner is the real Game Master. Loser gets lost. Uh, I don't know. No! I've already won! You don't need to prove anything! Destroy Captain Ian! Who asked you, Bird Brain? What? Looks like you programmed him too well, Mother Brain. First one through is the winner. What do you say, dude? <laughs> You're on, dude.
<laughs> Looks like I won, dude. You're gonna be the grave master now. Uh, if you were really programmed from my memories of Mike Vincent, then you can't be all bad. Wanna bet? Yow! But what about the good times Mike and I had together, before he turned into a bully? Uh, like when he and I camped out in my backyard in sleeping bags. Or how about when, when we dressed up as girls and snuck into Susie's sleepover party? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's up to you. Are Mike and I going to remain enemies, or can we be friends? After I conquer Megaland, I think I'll remain in Motherland! Kevin? Too bad, Princess. Looks like my android is the only game master now. <laughs> Guess again, lame brain. What? Destroy them! Dr. Wally, quick! The secret weapon! <laughs> Kevin, look out! Mike! Ow! Oh! Ow. Enjoy the warp home, mother brain. Thanks for saving me, buddy. You were right, Kevin. Mike was a decent guy underneath. Don't worry about me. I'm just an M. You really are the game master, Kevin. Yeah. I guess I am. Well, Captain N, didn't I tell you you could beat Mike Vincent? I did better than beat him, Simon. I became his friend again. Sunday with thick hot fudge, juicy strawberry, or buttery caramel topping. The Dairy Queen Sunday. After a hard day of rocking and rolling, we treat you right. Wake up time, shower time, breakfast time, school time, work time, shopping time, travel time, game time, running time, nap time, tea time, dinner time. Showtime, party time, bedtime. What about the time you're going to spend with the kids? Next time, please find the time for kids' sake. Ah, reading Alpha Flight. Alpha Flight. That is a uh, severely underrated comic put out by Marvel. Uh, Canada's Avengers. You know, even though most of them are mutants, or some of them are mutants. A lot of, lot of, you know, because they started out in the X-Men comic books, but. You know, yeah, expect the unexpected, the new universe. This is this predates the new universe stuff I've been reading. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed Captain N, the Game Master. Uh, and we're going to bring a cartoon I've, I've been airing. Um, this one's weird because people don't get it because of the name. I'm going to show Filmation's Ghostbusters. Uh, not the real Ghostbusters. Uh, Filmation had a Saturday morning live-action television show with two of the guys from F Troop. For those of you who don't know who are super or super young, F Troop was a comedy um, about a fort in the Old West, and there was uh, Indians and 
why not? It had Larry Storch in it. I can't remember the other guy's name. But they were the Ghostbusters with their pet gorilla, Tracy. The jump, X amount of years, to the fact that they had to still had the name of Ghostbusters. Well, when they were filming the movie Ghostbusters, the title was Ghost Smashers. And so they filmed a lot of stuff with dialogue for both Ghost Smashers and Ghostbusters. Uh, I guess there's a scene where they were everybody was chanting Ghostbusters, 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 and uh, they held the phone out for the executives, and the executives were like, "All right, I guess we gotta go buy the rights to Ghostbusters." So Filmation thought, "Oh, this is cinch, man. We're totally gonna make the cartoon for the Ghostbusters." Um, they were wrong. Um, Columbia took the rights to Ghostbusters to Sony, and then they produced their own cartoons, the real Ghostbusters. So, Filmation goes, well, we still have the rights to the name Ghostbusters, so we're making our own show called Ghostbusters. Uh, vastly different premises. Uh, well, not vastly different. They were still both a group that, that fought ghosts. That's about it. Uh, the Filmation's Ghostbusters, there is a completely different lore, reoccurring characters, uh, all that fun stuff that, you know, they had the, 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 the buggy and stuff instead of Ecto-1, um, it was the two, you know, friends, they, they actually, in the first episode, they bring back the characters from the original show, so, and they have a giant, talk, they have a giant gorilla, so, which we didn't have, we had Slimer. So, here's this week's episode of Filmation's Ghostbusters. Have fun. Let's go! In the last episode, we traveled back in time to medieval England. Sir Trancelot has a piece of the stone tablet which will lead us to our fathers. We tracked him to his haunted castle. Come on, we're going in. No, no, Kitoki. Ghost. You're right. Those are ghosts in there. But we've got to find our fathers. But, but Jake, you heard King Arthur. Not even his bravest knights ever returned from this castle. Right. The king said brave. We've got nothing to worry about. This ghost buggy sure is flip. Flip? Flip? I'll show you flip. <laughs> Shock absorbers! 
Oh, looking for this? <laughs> uh, maybe Sparky will make you feel better. Sparky? My little pet, and he's no ghost. I'll let you and Sparky get acquainted while I take my evening ride. So long, ghost babies, and have a bad night. <laughs> the dragon! Use the dematerializer! It only works on ghosts. Uh, don't worry, King Arthur's magic sword will handle this. <laughs> Let strength and courage be my fate, as sure as Arthur's sword is straight. <gasps> oh no! Oh, King Arthur's going to punish me when he sees this. <gasps> I think Sparky's going to save him the trouble. I know. <laughs> Oh, nice work, Jake. I thought we were goners. I'd fight a dragon for you anytime. <sighs> Jake! Oh. Sir Trancelot's coming back. And he looks very angry. Can't we dematerialize him? We don't dare. We might dematerialize the piece of the tablet at the same time. There's only one way. Tracy, give me your gum. Do I have to? Yes, you have to. Eddie, get the dematerializer ready. As soon as my lance touches the stone, let him have it. Let's go, GB. Full speed ahead. You want speed? Get a rocket. Sir Trancelot! He'll be back. What's more important is this. The ones who find fathers and save the future. Who? Who finds fathers and saves the future? Maybe the answer is on the next piece of the stone. Tracy's tablet tracer will figure out where it is. But first, we better get Fuddy back to King Arthur. <laughs> He'll probably have Merlin turn me into a frog when he sees... This. I'll bet Tracy can fix it. Careful, Tracy. If you break it, we'll be in big trouble. <laughs> he, he fixed it. Oh, now I can just put it back and King Arthur will never know I borrowed it. <gasps> uh, buddy, there's something I'd like you to do for me. Oh, sure, Jake. Anything. <laughs> Uh, and so you see, King Arthur, I, I wanted you to know the truth about what happened. I I'm really sorry. I, I, I never should have borrowed your sword without asking. I ought to punish you for this. But you showed great courage in defeating Sir Trancelot, and even greater courage in coming to me and telling the truth about the sword. How long has Fuddy been studying to be a sorcerer? A hundred and fifty years, Your Majesty. <laughs> Well, I think it's high time he became a full-fledged court wizard. <gasps> oh, me? A full court wizard? Ah, as you wish, Your Majesty. Great to go! <laughs> and as for you, young men, I'd like you all to become Knights of the Round Table. Futura, you will be the first woman knight. I'm very honored, Your Majesty, but we're on an important mission to save the future of the entire planet. And rescue our fathers. 
Yes, that's right. In that case, I insist you take this. I don't know how to thank you. Uh, and, and, and I don't know how to thank you, Jake. But maybe this will help. Now that I'm a full wizard, I can grant you any power of your choosing. But the moon must be full, and it will only last for a short while. Really? Oh, yes. All you have to do is call on me, no matter when or where you are. Wow, that's terrific! <laughs> and just where are we going? Ancient Egypt. That's where Tracy's Tracer says we'll find the next piece of the stone tablet. <laughs> this thing never works right! Ancient Egypt, here we come! Yep, I just hope the next piece of the tablet helps us find our fathers. Ancient Egypt. Sound familiar, Airhead? Well, ancient Egypt, uh, ring bell somewhere. That's where you come from, bandage brain. You and Apparitia will stop those little ghost busting twerps, and if you fail. <laughs> no, no, please, Your Majesty, don't do this to me. Rat-a-rat! No! Please! I, I, I'll rust! Yeah! That's the idea! <laughs> no! Oh! Ow! Oh, 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 oh. Now, unless you want something worse to happen to you, stop the ghost babies! Once and for all! in the pyramid. They look almost brand new. Well, don't forget, the ghost buggy has now taken us almost 3,000 years back in time. Yeah, huh? GP sure gonna come in handy when I have an overdue library book. That's what you think. I'm a breezy buggy. <laughs> hey, Tracy's tablet tracer is picking up another piece of the stone tablet. It's somewhere inside the pyramid. Come on, pals. Let's land. Phew. The pyramid sure is big. Yes. It took almost 30 years to construct. Scientists still don't know exactly why or how the Egyptians built it. Maybe they were just trying to make a point. Um... <laughs> now we've got to figure out a way to get inside. The door's pretty heavy. Think you can open it, Tracy? I don't like the looks of this place. My nose is twitching. You know what that means. Ghosts! Who, who, who's that? Leave the pyramid! That voice, it's coming from inside the crystal ball. Oh, do what I order. For inside my crystal ball, I have spirits, oh, goblins, and gremlins ready to unleash on you. Yeah, I'd hate to come face to face with any of those creepies. Now you're being reasonable. When I report this to Prime Evil, he'll... Look here! Prime Evil's not going to stop us from rescuing our fathers, and neither are you! Yeah, so bug off! Oh, how dare you speak to me like that! You'll regret you didn't heed my warning. I'll unleash my power when you least expect it. 
<laughs> Maybe the staircase will lead us to the tablet. Yeah, it's so dark and spooky. I know it's scary, but we've got to get used to goblins and gremlins if we're going to save our dads. You're right, partner. I'm not going to be scared. In fact, I'm going to lead the way. I only have one request. What's that? Talk me out of it. Oh, Eddie. Airhead, where are you? Nice travel. <laughs> yeah, my joke. Oh, get on your feet, you bag of rags. We're gonna put an end to those so-called Ghostbusters. Yeah, those mummy cases give me the jitters. The piece of the tablet could be any place. Tracy, stop bothering me. Can't you see I'm... Yahoo! Double Yahoo! Yeah, airhead, get Ghostbuster. Help, guys! The mummy's chasing me! Quick, Tracy, use the dematerializer on him! It's broken! Oh no! We're cornered! Mm, I got it. Tracy, it could be dangerous. <laughs> he must be pretty fond of our fathers. He says he wants to help find them. Good! Then if you have them, maybe I can go home? Ooh, he looks just like a mummy. <laughs> Yikes, he looks scary. That's the idea, Eddie. He just might scare Airhead away. Here they come. Go get them, Tracy. Uh-oh, the air had no light. Uh, uh. Keep your fingers crossed. I'll even keep my bandages crossed. Your bandages? Oh, no! Uh. Eddie, quick, cut the bandage! <laughs> yeah! Too dark to see anything. Eddie? 
Eddie, are you all right? Yeah, but where am I? Just sit tight. Yeah, him not mummy ghost, him ghost busting monkey. <laughs> Tracy's in trouble. It's stuck. Yeah, me bring monkey to Aparicia. Yeah. Can you teleport us to the hallway? Come on, let's follow him. Wow, this is a pretty fancy place. Some kind of a secret room. Hey, there's a neat disguise. I could walk right past Apparition or Mummies in this outfit. Hey, Jake, guess what I found? Jake? I wonder where they went. <laughs> you mean like monkey on a Ghostbuster? <laughs> Airhead make joke. <laughs> Stop it, bandage brain. <laughs> <laughs> Even your strength ain't enough to break my crystal cups. There he is. So, you want to be a mummy, do you? <clears throat> well, mummies are old. Before you can be a real mummy, you have to be old. Say about 3,000 years old. <clears throat> this secret Egyptian mist will age you. And then, mummify you. I'm gonna look for those other Ghostbusters. You wait here. But me become mummy. You already are a mummy, dummy. By the time I return, you'll be a 3,000-year-old mummy. <laughs> we'll find out what happens to Tracy in the next episode of Ghostbusters. Stay tuned for some exciting scenes. And now, here are some scenes from the next episode of Ghostbusters! I could eat a wagon wheel. When I'm slow on the draw and I need something to chaw, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. When my ten gallon hats are feeling five gallons flat, I got something planned, which is little cheese sandwiches. Come on! Here's a great little snack to tide you over till dinner. If you want something delicious and nutritious, cheese is a super snack. Look, a wagon wheel. When my get up and go has got up and went, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. When I'm dancing, I hold down and my boots kind of slow down, or any time I'm weak in the knees. I hanker for a hunk of, a slabber slice a chunk of, a sniker day is a winner, and yet won't spoil my dinner. I hanker for a hunk of cheese. Yeah. Earth's first line of defense. Has a breakthrough in space technology. Magna Lock. It defies the law of gravity. Activate Starcom equipment. Control Starcom weapon. Figures and vehicles each sold separately. Magna Lock. A mighty power for Starcom. A deadly threat in the hands of the Shadow Force. Who will survive? Alright, I hope you liked this week's episode of Filmation's Ghostbusters, not the real Ghostbusters, Filmation's Ghostbusters. Um, so we're going to bring 
the next show is going to be Drag Pack. Uh, people seem to like the uh, Drag Pack. Um, I did. Uh, I'm a sucker for that, but I, I love Hanna Barbera and I love the classic monsters the Frankenstein, the Wolfman, Dracula. Uh, this is a very 1970s cartoon. Um, I know this came out in 79, I believe. But I watched it as a kid. I don't think I watched it when it originally aired. I'm pretty sure I watched this in repeats. Um, so some of the stuff I'm showing you may not have been a weekday, may not have been a Saturday morning cartoon, may have been a weekday cartoon. I'm just showing cartoons. You know what? I'm just having fun. I'm having fun bringing you cartoons week after week, and I hope you guys are enjoying them. Um, like I said, Drag Pack's on the ones that I don't remember watching it on Saturday morning. Uh, I remember watching it, but I'm pretty sure it was a, uh, by that time it was in syndication or a, a cartoon that I watched before the other cartoon started or whatever. But here's this week's episode of the Drag Pack. Drag Pack or the Drag Pack. I always just say Drag Pack. Uh, episode 3. Enjoy. <laughs> From the monsters of the past comes a new generation dedicated to reversing the evil image of their forefathers. Under the leadership of none other than Count Dracula, known as Big D, three teenagers form the Dooberty Group, named the Dracula. With special powers, they can transform into super mighty monsters and use their skills against all evildoers, especially the diabolical Dr. Dread and his renegade rescues, Toad, Fly, Mummy Man, and Vampira, a group known as Ogre, the organization of generally rotten enterprises. It's right versus wrong, good over free, niceness against naughtiness. That's the dedication of the terrific trio, Frankie, Howler, and Drax Jr., the Drax Pack. How kind of you to remember my natal day. We wouldn't forget you. We even got you a cake. Dear Dr. Drake, happy birthday. What? You call that crumb a birthday cake? That miniature muffin? But I, I baked it myself. You half-baked fumblers, my birthday is a big event. So big that the whole world must know, and I'll see that it does. You green apple dumpling, I told you the cake was too small. Yeah, dum -dum. Yeah. Super stupido. If we could only surprise Dr. Dredd with a gift he'd really like. Oh, and I know just the thing. Empire, come with me. I'm starving. I hope dinner's going to be ready soon. It will be. Just get cracking with the french fries. They're on their way, right? Good work, Frank. Uh, can you fix some toast, Howard? It'll be a snip. <laughs> Oops. I hope you like whole wheat. <laughs> hmm, not quite right. It needs some of this and a touch of this. Oh, uh, right. Do you know what you're doing? Are you kidding? I was raised in the kitchen. What? What? Look! Don't worry, Howard. It just needs one more pinch of... Frank, your recipe was dynamite. Yeah! You raised the kitchen! Happy birthday to Dr. Dredd! Happy birthday just for me! I'm celebrating high for all the world to see! It's Dr. Dredd! Right, and I'm going to let everyone know it's my birthday, whether they want to or not, Mac. That's drunk. And you're disturbing the peace, Dredd. Well, la -de da try and stop me. Happy birthday just for me. la de da happy birthday just for me. That racket could wake the undead. <laughs> It already has. Big D wants us to contact him immediately. 
I want to see how many letters are holding up. Oh, no! What? Someone's massacred my message! I suspect the track pack. I agree, but even they won't be able to stop my next birthday announcement. Full speed ahead, Fly! I'm about to pick on the path! How can we find the dredgeable in this fog? Forget the dredgeable, we can't even find the room! Well, the dragster needed a car wash anyway. What's that? Oh, 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 it's gonna be a car squash! If we don't get out of here, we're in trouble! Whoa, now we're in double trouble! I think I can handle that. 
Give me a lift, Drac. You better hurry. Go, Frankie, go! A little higher, Drac. Empire, look, it's the drag pad. Then let's not stick around here. Get going! Great work, Frankie. Everything's ship-shape now. Yeah, take a bow. <laughs> take two bows. Look out, Drac. That ogre toad and vampire. <laughs> Look out the load! Looks like a weighty problem. <laughs> nice kid, pal. Didn't know you had it in you. Hi, 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 hi. Ouch! Get that drug back. You'll never escape, Drax. Just again, warty fingers. I wonder how a Drax do. I don't have the foggiest idea, but I'm gonna clear things up. <gasps> Awesome. Any other ideas for Dr. Dredd's present? Maybe a new fly swatter? Bad toad. Good work, Howard. That gust was just in time. Thanks, Dredd. Any sign of Dr. Dredd? I'm not sure. There are some strange lights in the distance. We'd better check them out. Hey, turn off that light. It's getting closer. Hey, how do you expect us to get any sleep? I don't believe it. Dred's outdone himself this time. Ahoy down there! How do you like the way I lit up my light, Drac? That's Drac. And we're pulling your plug. Nag, nag, nag. I was hoping you'd say that. Mummy man, get ready. <laughs> I just love playing dominoes. Hey, good move, Frankie. <laughs> move it, mommy, you overgrown ragamuffin. Don't worry, mommy man. We're ready for the final phase of my birthday scheme. Fly, full speed ahead. You don't tell it fly how to fly. Hit it, Howler. Dred's getting away. Or it's up, up, and away. Don't lose him, Howley. I'm right on his tail. I wonder where Dred's headed. Wait a minute. We're right over Pack Headquarters. Ah, home sweet home. And the vegetables landed. Then so are we. Hang on. Uh-huh, here they come. Get ready with plan A. They're inside. Hey, focus locked us out. Don't worry, Howley. Just stand back. No, Frankie! Stop! Boy, that was easy, Drac. But it's our front door, and I have the key. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Sorry. Now, where is that tricky trespasser? Come on, Dredd! The game is up! Correction, Jack, it's just beginning. That's Drac! peek a boo And you won't get away with this, Dread. Wrong! It's you who won't get away! Even the floor is sealed! We'll see about that! <laughs> Nothing! Allow me, Howdy! Nothing here either! I'll turn to mist! Sorry, boy. This steel box is vapor-proof, wind-proof, and triple-thick. However, there is plenty of internal ventilation. So enjoy your stay at home while I enjoy the rest of my birthday. Come, Olga, we have work to do. And if I know dread, it's dirty work. Here are the missiles, Dr. Dredd. You know what to do, mummy man. Yes, 
mummy man. Just a few more missiles and I can launch pack headquarters into orbit with the track pack inside. We got to hurry then, Pyra. Forget about our birthday present. We've really lost the track pack this time. Oh, then, Pyra. Food is never at a loss. We'll check out pack headquarters. We got to come home sometime. Good job, mummy man. Fly, now back to the dreadnought for our countdown. There's the drag ship. I'll make a nice landing. Nice landing, Toad. And Pyra, look what I found. <clears throat> Here, Toad, let me give you a hug. Or two. <laughs> Must be some super new invention of drags. Look at all of them. All loaded? Yes, what a wonderful extra birthday surprise for Dr. Dre. <laughs> Sounds like someone's outside. Maybe we can attract their attention. Good idea, right? <laughs> Let's get back to the dreadnought, Vampire. Set off a burglar alarm. Quick, find it! This must be it. Now turn it off, Ward Knuckles. Toad! The drag pad. Oh no! Let's get out of here. We're outnumbered. Follow them! You did come. They must be after that adventure. But we have it. <laughs> Hold on, Howard. Just stay behind, and they'll lead us straight to Dr. Dre. Dude, they're right on our tail. Good. I'll lead the pack back to the dreadnought and my terrible trap. What are you going to do, swallow them? Dreadnought, there to hell. But now, people hide. I'm going to make Dr. Dre very happy. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dr. Dredd! We're going through! Where'd they go? Look! That way! They won't escape this time! He's right, Vampire! They won't! <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? If I didn't know better, I'd say this is the mold for a gigantic birthday cake! Along with ten tons of quick drive sleep in. <laughs> well, Toad, are you finished? Yes, and now that we've gift wrapped Dr. Dredd's present, we can get the key. Takes huh? done. Ready? It needs decoration, you insensitive blob. I'll take care of the icing. Huh? Hurry it up! <laughs> I love birthdays. <laughs> We mustn't forget the candles. There. Beautiful. Just dreadfully beautiful. Toad, Dr. Dredd's in the control room. Are we ready? Mm, delicious. Keep your ice and picking fingers off my frosting, Vampire. Why aren't we getting to be a testy toad? Now, let's wheel it away. Oh, I just love surprise parties. It's no use. We can't get out. I've heard of traps, but this takes the cake. And now for the finale to my birthday blast. I hope Drank and his pack in the box enjoy the view from outer space. <laughs> What's going on here? Who turned out the lights? I did. Toad! Happy birthday, Dr. Dredd. Oh, Toad, you shouldn't have. What a lovely cake. It's got your favorite filling. Oh, may I cut the first slice? I think you'll need this. Really? But first, blow out the candles and make a wish. I always wanted to give Ogre their just desserts, but not like this. Yeah, it makes me mad. Real mad. I wish. See, I told you he'd be surprised. Dr. Dredd, I captured the pack as a special birthday present for you. 
Quick, mummy man, distract them. I'm still man. <laughs> Oh, God, give them the work. Yes, let them eat cake. Push, fly. Leave this to me. A good cake always rises. What happened? Maybe too much yeast? Go ahead, charge. All right, you asked for it. Stop. Let them go. Let them go? There'll be no fighting on my birthday. You are free to go home. I can't believe it. Gosh, happy birthday, Dr. Dredd. Isn't it? <laughs> if you only knew. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, look at these holes. I'm going to have to do something about them gophers. But Dr. Dredd, why did you let them leave? So they could return home. See, there they are now. In a moment, the missiles I planted around Pack Headquarters will launch it into orbit for a hundred years. Yeah, missiles around Pack Headquarters. Missiles. Uh, Dr. Dredd, I think... Quiet. This is the crowning moment of my career. But, uh, but... Fire! Well, how about a bite to eat? I'll cook. No, thanks. Besides, that birthday cake spoiled my appetite. You know, I still can't believe Dr. Dredd just let us go. Well, even a bad guy can have a good day. You might be right. I hope Dr. Dredd has an out-of-this-world birthday. Birthday bungalows! But Dr. Dredd, how was I supposed to know? Honest, how was I to know? This is the last time I listen to you, Ward Fess. <laughs> Party poopers! Bah! Kids today! One of six dinosaur markers free in Fruit Loops, even Tyrannosaurus Rex. Where's Rex? <gasps> Here it is, the Cobra Mamba. Cobra Mamba, its power is frightening from out of the blue. It's just a lightning. The Cobra Mamba is a fast attack copter with laser guns and missiles on both sides. There's a persuader attack. The Mamba holds three Cobras and the sides detached to become separate attack pods. Triple threat means yet Cobra Mamba. Cobra! Yo, Joe! G.I. Joe! The adventure of G.I. Joe, Cobra Mamba, and other vehicles and figures sold separately. Go, go! Oh, hey. Read some Warlord. It's a weird combination. It's a little bit of Conan, a little bit of uh, John Carter, Mars. Um, you know, uh, Air Force pilot ends up in the center of the Earth. And... Uh, Ends up fighting in a weird sword and sorcery world. Uh, but we'll get back to that later. I uh, hope you guys enjoy Drag Pack. I know I do every week. Um, here we go, man. I'm going to show The Thing. That's right, John Carpenter's The Thing. We're going to show... No, <laughs> just kidding. It's going to be The Thing. Uh, we showed the first couple episodes because uh, they were in two episode, Two episodes per... Two segments per episode... So, technically, the last time was segment one and two, which was episode one and two. This week, I'm going to be bringing you segment, or episodes three and four, which is segment two, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, technically, two episodes of the thing. Um, it's still just an oddity to me. I will never be able to wrap my head around how they got this cartoon. Uh, 
It's the Fantastic Fours thing, kinda. It's Ben Grimm, Yancey Street's in there. It's just thing rings, do your thing, Benji Grimm. He's, it's weird. It's got that Scooby Doo ish feel, but it's got the thing in it. Uh, and the fact that it was connected with the uh, Flintstones. So, you know, hey, I still watch it. I'm not going to lie, it's just weird. So, enjoy this week's episode of The Thing. And not The Thing. The Thing. Yeah. Enjoy. know it's dangerous to play in the street? Yeah, they should be using a playground. Hey, eat it, you kid. Yeah, don't come back. This here's the private turf of the Yancey Street Gang. Did you see that, Benji? Come on. Well, 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 look who's here. The Centerville Squares. Spike, you big bully. Those kids have just as much right to play in this junky old vacant lot as you do. Oh, yeah? Well, our clubhouse is here, and we ain't gonna have no nosy little twipes hanging around. But Spike, this lot is big enough for everybody. You're right, Benji. In fact, with a little muscle, this place could be made into a playground. Great idea, Kelly. Well, if you want to see some muscle, just try muscling in on our territory. Oh, uh, yeah. If you want to see some muscle, just try muscling... In, uh, just like Spike said. Yeah, right. So beat it. Come on, Benji. We're wasting our time with these clowns. Looks like we need a little help. To handle those guys? No, to clean up the lot. What? Do you seriously expect me, Ronald Radford, to help clean up a dirty lot full of garbage and junk? Yuck. And I hope you don't expect me to go down there and ruin my hairdo. Okay, forget it. But you'll miss the playground opening ceremonies honoring those who do help. That's right, and there'll be lots of reporters. Uh, reporters? And photographers. Photographers? Reporters? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Hear ye, hear ye. The Yancey Street Motorcycle and Messing Up Society will come to order. Any old business? Yeah! I need a new chair! That's no business! Hey, Spike! Look! We got visitors! Well, here we are! This is it? Yuck! I don't believe it. They came back to clean up the place. And to think I had the tailor design my new overalls for this. Here, Ronald. We got us. Pop them. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's go out there. Don't race your engines, guys. I got a plan. You let them work up a sweat first. <laughs> uh, Ronald, why bother to dust that old hunk of junk? Well, you don't expect me to take a nap on a dirty sofa, do you? Hold still, Kelly. I'm touching up my makeup. <coughs> Darn it. She made me smear my lipstick. I'll have to start all over. Let's see how far our little fixer-uppers get without this, uh, trailer. <laughs> Jeepers, I wish this thing had stopped moving. I smeared my lipstick again and... Moving? Help! What was that? It's Betty. The trailer is broken loose. Come on. Help! Help! Hold on, Betty. We're coming. Bing ring, do your thing. Truck. Uh, 
come. It ain't easy being a living legend. Help! Somebody help! What now? Looks like it's time to move the moving men. Oops, a daisy. Look at me. The idol of millions, direct and traffic. There goes my charge account. Ding! Oh, thank you. Next time you go and shopping, young lady, you ought to take the bus. Now it's our time for a little fun. Hey, uh, fun? You see what they left us? Our own little motocross track. <laughs> hey, yeah, a motocross track. What are we waiting for? Okay, you guys, follow the leader. Yahoo! <laughs> follow the leader. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> I gotta tell you to park your bike outside. This ain't no garage, you know. Look! Oh no! Spike and his gang made a bigger mess than before! Hey, I've got an idea. Uh, wait here and I'll be back in a flash to get rid of that trash. I wonder what he's up to. Beats me! Here I am, gang! Where did you get that? This tractor? Why, it's a birthday present from dear old Dada. You got a tractor for your birthday? Uh, no, a farm. The tractor came with it. <laughs> oh, no. More trouble. Didn't I tell you, Squares, this was our territory? Yeah. Didn't Spike tell you, Squares? We're only cleaning the place up so everybody can use it. Oh, well, in that case, we'll help you. Come on, guys. That's my tractor, you ruffians. Put the pedal to the metal, Spike! <laughs> Some nerve! Hey, Spike, take it easy! Oh, God, why don't you slow this thing down a little? I got it started, didn't I? What do you want? I I gotta do everything. If you can't stop it, can't you at least turn it? What the heck would that do? It'll save us having to buy new bikes. Look, they're doing our job for us. I'll bet that's the first real work those creeps ever did. Look who's talking. Did, did we try that one? Oh, no. How about this one? Would you get out of my way? Let's see what this one does. Hey, Spike. How can we see what it does if we can't see? What was that? I don't want to know. Me 
me mad! Yow! Beat it, you guys! Let's get out of here! Tractor ride shook them up. Boy, I racked my brain all night trying to figure out how to get some playground equipment. Me too. Oh no! Huh? Look at that! The empty lot is all fenced up with lead pipes. Keep out! Headquarters of the Yancey Street Gang. Now we'll never finish the playground. Oh yes, we will. Thing ring. Do your thing! What are you doing? You'll see! Ta-da! Wow, you made a monkey bar for the kids! How about a kitty slide? Great idea! You like it? It's beautiful. And we'll need a swing, too. You've got it. Uh-oh. I almost forgot. We gotta have a clubhouse. You did it! A real playground! Nothing to it. It was a lead pipe cinch. <laughs> Aren't you worried the Yancey Street Gang might try to mess up things again? Not after a certain bright orange character that we know had a little talk with them. See? <laughs> Looks like they got the message. Professor Harkness, is this the real me, Benji, a teenage pipsqueak, or is this the real me? Thing ring, do your thing! Am I Benji, or am I an orange hunk of rock? Try to understand, Benjamin. I'm doing the best I can to find the formula. I'll try anything. I'm sorry about that, Professor. It takes research, Ben, and time. If we attempt an untested formula, it could make you even younger. Younger? You could end up wearing diapers. Yuck! What a revolting development. Shh! It's the night watchman. I know, I know. Time to change back to stringy muscles and school books. Thanks for dropping by, Benji, so we could discuss that lab problem. And be careful driving to the big game in Elmville tomorrow. That's a long ride. Better tell Ronald. He's driving. Ronald, you said this was a shortcut. Well, we've been shortcutting for hours. Just leave everything to good old Eagle Eye, Radford. Ah! Whew. Well, where are we now, Christopher Columbus? Let's get back to the main road. This dust is just ruining my complexion. Now what? Nothing to worry about. A car as finely tuned as this one needs coaxing. <laughs> How do you coax a tune out of it with no gas, maestro? Well, nobody's perfect. Although I do come close, I know exactly where we are. We're two miles from Gone Away Gulch. At least you can read. I guess we better start walking. Yipes! Gone Away Gulch is a ghost town. And it sure looks like everyone's gone away. I don't care what happens. Nothing could make me go inside those ugly, dirty places. Nothing that is but rain. I just had my hair done. 
I do hope they aren't cold. <laughs> hmm, maybe you should have phoned for reservations. Hurry, my eye makeup is starting to run. Wow, looks like this place hasn't been cleaned in years. Well, it's difficult to hire decent household help these days. By just the other day, dear mama... Be was... quiet, Ronald. I thought I heard something. Merely the wind, Betty, my dear, which reminds me this musty old dump could use smearing out. putting on airs again. I always said he was riding for a... ball. Boy, Ronald, when you took off, I thought I was seeing things. I am seeing things. Look! <laughs> There's somebody up there. Or something. Let's go check. Maybe he can lead us to a ghost station. Uh, I, I mean a gas station. You can't scare me, Benji. Kelly, uh, you and Betty look around down here. Ronald and I will take the upstairs. Upstairs? <laughs> Ooh, why don't you signal when you're going to stop? Walking so close behind me, you're pulling my socks down. Why don't you check down the hall while I look around here? Uh, uh, uh very well. If you're sure you'll be all right on your own. I'll be all right. Yeah, well, uh, okay. No. Uh, uh, Benji? That is you, isn't it? Uh, don't be afraid. I'll be right there. change things around here. Ding ring, do your thing. Well, here I am, the idol of millions, in the spotlight again. We have the scary, ugly, spooky, yucky ghost. Help! <clears throat> Ronald Bradford, I might have known. Hmm, I liked him better with that pipe over his mouth. Come on, everybody. We gotta get out of here. The, the ceiling's collapsing. Get the ceiling. The floor is what worries me. <laughs> What happened? I wish I could see. I'm glad I can't. I must look a mess. I wonder where we are. You be trespassing in my gold mine. That's where you be. Uh-oh. And since my shenanigans at the hotel didn't scare you teenage claim jumpers off, I'll tell you to your faces. 
Vamos! Skedaddle! Hightail it! Get to Ditton! I believe the gentleman is asking us to remove ourselves from the premises. For a change, Ronald, I think you're right. Let's go. There's gold here, Summers, and I aims to find it. Uh-oh! He hit an underground stream! And it could flood the mine! We better run for it! Come on! I think the entrance is this way. No thanks, Ronald. We've had enough of your shortcut. Good. It's gone. Time for the thing to arrive. Ting ring, do your thing! Jeez! You don't know when to call it quits, Buster. Now, this pile of rocks says that that pile of rocks is caving in. Now get going before you have to swim for it. Oh no, I'm going the wrong way. Well, them kids in the miner must be safe by now. Help! Uh oh, what a revolting development. It's revolting Ronald again. Bye, Ronald. Have a nice trip. Phew. There's days when I wish I wasn't the idol of millions. Help! Hang on, ladies. I'll get you out of this precarious predicament. There you go. It ain't a yacht, but it'll have to do. Oh, Thing, you're wonderful. You're great. You're... Soggy, let's get this show on the road. I don't believe my own stone eyes. There's gotta be gold here. You're a hard fella to convince. So, I gotta take extreme type measures. Concerny, you mangy coyote. You sidewinding raptor. You're nothing but a no Never mind him, Consonic. Where's my mule? Whoa! Yo! Okay, don't rub it in. Don't just walk about a mile down that side road and you'll find a gas station. Come on, Sadie, we gotta find gold. Move, you lop-eared loafer! Wow! Look at that! It looks like gold! It's gold! <laughs> Sadie, you did it! You found the gold! <laughs> How very uncouth. Imagine kissing that mangy beast. Oh, I don't know, Ronald. Yeah, that mangy beast is probably richer than you are. Huh? <laughs> oh, what a revolt of poem. <laughs> Hi, time for timer. What? No time for breakfast. Now look, since six o'clock last night you haven't eaten a bite. Come on, I'll show you why that's really not the way for a growing kid to start a busy day. Here we are inside your body and this noisy empty space. Is your stomach getting angry because there's no food in the place? Uh-oh, let's find some food fast. Now listen. I don't want you to think this is the best way to eat breakfast, but in case you can't cook, and if you haven't time for a good cereal in a well-balanced meal, then this quickie breakfast is better than nothing at all, okay? Hey, here's orange juice and milk and fruit just waiting to be taken. And bless my soul, right here's a bowl with one cold piece of steak in, a hard-boiled egg or chicken leg or cheese or lunch and meat, or a peanut butter sandwich any time of day is a treat. So do keep your mom from grumbling and stop that stomach rumbling and keep your legs from stumbling when you play. You've got to eat some kind of breakfast every day. I'm hungry for S'mores Crunch cereal. 
What a dreadful draft. I'll just turn this terrible twister into a terrific feast of chocolatey grams and star marshmallow treats. Wow! S'mores Crunch! A magical part of this nutritious breakfast. Can we have s'mores? Certainly. S'mores Crunch cereal with new marshmallow stars. You know, He-Man figures had like the coolest actions. Like, you know, you got battle damage He-Man as so you can like to turn... But the only thing is, the spring stops working, he just slides, and then he, uh, he does damage. Let's see, it doesn't want to stay there no more. Then you got ones like, you know, Manny Faces, who flips his face around. Uh, this is the weirdest one, Dragstar. He was literally a guy who rolled on his stomach, and you had the zip strip that made him go. He had a little engine in his back, but mine's missing him. Um, yeah, try to find one of these that isn't all beat to shit, because the nose rubbed. I mean, he legitimately ran on his face. So, yeah, not, not a whole lot of them show up without being damaged. But I, I think the design's kind of cool. I, I like that, that, that design on the character. I like that face. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the thing. Um, now we're going to go to... Watch some rock and wrestling. Um, it's weird that at one time wrestling was as popular as it was, that it was like main, super mainstream um, before the Attitude Era. Um, you know, I, I, I will sit back and rewatch some of these old episodes, and they're kind of funny because knowing full well that, that uh, uh, before they became famous now, some of these people were doing voiceover work. Um, Andre the Giant is Brad Garrett. Um, Junkyard Dog is Uncle Phil, who also did Voice Shredder. So, you know, there's that. Um, I don't think any of the the wrestlers did their own voiceover work. Uh, everybody voiced over the, the characters. I mean, yeah. I guess they were too busy wrestling. So... <laughs> um, this is one I did not think we were going to be able to show, but we are. Um, I just don't make any money of it. I've been demonetized on this one, so who cares? Here's this week's episode of Rockin' Wrestling, episode two. So have fun and enjoy. Peace. Battle for the fun of it. Now they battled an incredible battle chariot. The ram, the tiger, the reindeer. Battle beast. Battle transport vehicles that change into battle stations. The Beetle, Firebird, and Shark. Battle Beast. And to carry your army, there's the Bandolier. Let's battle! Wood! Fire! Fire Beast Wood! Battle Beast can grow into an army. Bandolier, chariots, and transports, each sold separately. Battle Beast. Sonny, do you copy? Roger, up here at 30,000 feet, those kids can't make me go cuckoo for the yummy, chocolatey taste of Cocoa Puffs, a delicious part of this complete breakfast. Uh oh. Sunny, want some munchy? Munchy. Crunchy? Crunchy. Oh. Chocolatey Cocoa Puffs. I'm bailing out. Yahoo! I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Talk about weird ones. Look at this. Like he's a squeeze bottle. He's like a psh, 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 psh. like an aerosol can. Yeah. And then you had a uh, uh, mantenna. Yeah. That's he spikes his eye bug out. Weird. So, yeah. But you know what? We were kids. We loved the crap out of this stuff. Look at that. This, this is the best. The best. That's right. Ram man. He kind of jumps up. So. Hope you guys like rock and wrestling. Um, here's where we're going to start mixing it up. We're going to start bringing you some new stuff. Um, I hope we can air this stuff. I hope it doesn't get taken down. Um, I'm going to give this one a shot. Um, so I'm not going to give you too much about it. Because if I have to edit this out or whatever. It's going to look weird. Because it's going to be like that Spider-Man episode that I edited out. And all the stuff of me telling you about the Spider-Man episode was still there. So, <laughs> here's this week's episode of a cartoon, um, and if I air it and this goes through fine and I don't get, get nailed on it, 
Uh, I'll bring you some information on this one next week. So have fun and enjoy a mystery cartoon. Duh. There's going to be three mystery cartoons. Three. Hopefully three. <laughs> I'm hoping that of the three cartoons I'm trying to air, at least one of them gets through. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm, I'm guessing two. Uh, I'm hoping for all three. But, um, you know, here you guys go. Enjoy. Have fun. And I'll be back. I beg you, sir. There is a seal on this tomb. Perhaps it is best we do not... Open it! The hand of Amenhotep seals this door. Woe to him who breaks the seal, for he shall... Do not go in! It is cursed! Whatever's in there hasn't been able to hurt anyone for 3,500 years. I don't think it's going to start now. It's empty. These aren't hieroglyphs, more like someone counting. Yusuf? Yusuf? Just like that someday. Race you down the hill, Walter. It's too steep, Presley. Excuse me. Oh! Toast yourself, not me. What kept you, Slopo? Cool Sphinx. The tomb of Pharaoh's son, with his mummy missing. Is it alive? Alive! Presley, you're nuts. <laughs> I'm sorry, we just can't afford to book your exhibit. Yes, well, the Rapsi's exhibit is expensive, but Mr. Stone's donations covered those costs. Yes, we go in. Of course, the Harris Stone. <laughs> Is that you, Walter? Come back to me, my son. Knock it off, Walter. I'm not falling for it. Rapsies. Prince Rapsi's pet. Poor little guy. Hey, I don't even like cats. Why am I upset? This is starting to get weird. He has come back. Long I have waited. Let me go! Who are you? 
Don't you recognize me, my prince? Don't you remember your old pal, Scarab? Your father entombed me 3,500 years ago. I have no idea what you're talking about. Help! Oh no. With the strength of Ra! good guys but we got to get out of here no way I could explain this to mom what a mess you are wise young prince even the desert lion retreats when the pack of hunting dogs is too large the sacred cat will go first <laughs> Armon after you <laughs> They do not see us. You are safe now. We have obeyed the command of Pharaoh. Wow. How do you do that? Magic? So, why don't you guys stay pumped up all the time? It makes you look less... dead. The magic that gives us strength is limited. When it wanes, we must rest in our sarcophagi to renew it. Kind of like my mom's cell phone. What is a cell phone? Ah, well, uh, it's a, um, uh, you uh, wouldn't understand. Well, I guess we cannot go back there now. Hey, I know where you guys can hang out for a while. Hurry up, we've got some pretty snoopy neighbors. The great house of your father in Memphis was much larger. How do you know my dad was from Memphis? We know every detail of your life. You are Rapses, the only son of Pharaoh Amenhotep. Hold on, guys. The name's Presley Carnivon. I was only in that sarcophagus. what's it's because those clay-faced dudes were chasing me. They were chasing you because you are Rapses. You got the wrong guy, pal. I'm not Rapses. I've never even been to Egypt. Who are you guys? I am Jakal. This is Armon and Raph. And he is Nefer. You mean she? No, 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 just a boy. How boy. would you know? No, no. A actually, the prince is right. I am Nefertina. I only pretended to be a man, 
since women are not allowed to drive the chariots of the Pharaoh. No wonder he never went swimming in the Nile with us. Only Prince Rapses knew. Oh, would you guys give the Rapses thing a rest? I don't understand, Mr. Hepplewhite. Why would thieves take the mummies and leave all these priceless works of art? Perhaps the criminals intend to return. Mr. Stone, may I say what an honor and privilege it is to... What we have to consider now is the safety of the treasures of Rapses. They must be sent back to Egypt. Tonight. But the exhibit just opened! I'm paying for this exhibit, Ms. Carnivon. I feel a... Responsibility to the owners. People have been waiting months to see this exhibit. We have an obligation to keep it open. Mr. Stone, sir, what Amanda is trying to say is... Would ten million dollars take care of your obligations? What Amanda is trying to say is... We'll start packing immediately. <laughs> so let me get this straight. You're supposed to guard the Pharaoh's son even though you're like mummies. So if I'm in trouble, I mean, when Rapsies is in trouble, you call on Ra and whoever, and they give you the power to kick butt, right? But why in the name of Ra would anyone want to kick Tut? Excuse me, Rapsies. But I opened the white stone sarcophagus and saw the offerings of food inside. White stone sarc... You mean the refrigerator? Ah, refrigerator. And what is the significance of the mummified bird? Leftovers. Help yourself. <laughs> Thank you, my prince. Will you quit calling me? It's mom. You guys gotta hide. This is my room. Just stay in here and keep quiet. Here, so you don't get bored. On your knees! It's just a movie. Such swift chariots! Where are the horses? Police cars. Just be cool, guys. Hiya, sweetie. I brought you some takeout. Something's come up at the museum. Uh -oh. There should be some leftover apple pie for dessert. Oh, maybe you'd better skip dessert. Presley, honey, I've got to get back to the museum. Somebody stole the mummies from the Rapsies exhibit. Now Mr. Stone wants us to pack up the whole thing and ship it back to Egypt. Oh, no. Bad news. Your sarcophagus what's it, sir, being sent back to Egypt? Get the little creep! Perhaps he's went out! The tiny man inside the spirit box won't threaten you anymore. That spirit box was wired for cable. Hmm. I definitely gotta get you guys back to Egypt. We cannot return to Egypt. We have to stay to protect you. The sarcophagus of Rapses was brought here to lure you into the open, like a hunter staking out a goat to draw the hungry lion. Yeah, whatever. Our sarcophagi are in the house with wheels. That's the last one. Let's hit the road. We gotta stop that truck! We can follow in the horseless chariot. Hey, no way. That's Mr. Hebblewhite's car. He's my mom's boss. Look, nobody here has a driver's license, and we don't have any keys. <gasps> Do they teach you nothing in your school? Awaken sleeping chariot! Mom is gonna kill me. I'll take the reins of the chariot. If the tiny people in the spirit box can do it, so can I. At least fasten your seatbelts. What is a seatbelt?
swift. It ought to be. It's got 180 horses under the hood. They must be very small horses. Hold it! Stop! Huh? What? I feared we had lost you, O oh Prince. Now you know what seatbelts are for. On, little horses! Another gray hair. Going out again tonight? We both are. The mummies' sarcophagi are on their way back to Egypt. Without them, the mummies will never survive. Take the reins of the chariot, O oh Prince! Huh? We shall return, O oh Prince! Good luck! It's the jerk from the museum! What's going on, officer? I gotta get this load to the airport. Huh? Well done, my shanty. Now destroy the truck and everything in it. No, you can't do that! Well, Prince Rapsith, and without your guardians, don't worry. I need you. Alive. But not for long. <laughs> With the strength of Ra! Let's get tight! Let's get tight! Slowed in 3,500 years, Scarab. I'm on. Not a problem! Oh no. Oh, all muscle and no brains. Destroy the truck. There's nothing the mummies can use. Your sarcophagus stop! Find the exit through the rear of the vehicle. <laughs> Prince has told us, always be sure to wear a seatbelt. Jakal has saved you for the last time. <gasps> I don't think so. I will destroy those mummies, even if I must shatter the world to do it. I better get inside before Mom realizes I'm gone. You guys gonna be all right? Where are you gonna go? It is our duty to take care of you, not yours to take care of us. We will be close by. We know a place. It may not be home, but it will have to do. What's three?
three apples high and blue. And it's blue every weekday. Got it. Smurfs! Every weekday at 4 on TV12. Let's make breakfast. Okay. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. We're Cinnamon Toast Crunch Bakers. We're Cinnamon Toast Crunch Tasters. We use sprinkles of cinnamon and sugar for a special homemade taste. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. A blizzard is coming. A Dairy Queen blizzard. Free with this coupon on specially marked boxes of Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Golden Grahams. Intelligence has identified a substantial buildup of hostile forces right here in our own backyard. I'm giving you the green light to clean them out. Gentlemen, you're the best. Get up there and prove it. Okay, boys. Let's kick some. I've got him. Watch back. Keep going. Keep going down the right side. He's on me. Wow, wow. Dr. Wayne, keep on him. Action Max for your VCR. Yeah. If it were any more real, it wouldn't be a game. I think He-Man toys were awesome because they're like, let's see how many toys we can make out of only a small amount of parts, uh, especially the early ones. So, I mean, you know, Clawful and Buzz Off had the exact same hand, so, and uh, Buzz Off's helmet's missing, so it's in there somewhere. Buzz Off. He has, he had wings. That was his gimmick, and he had uh, the helmet. So, I hope you like that cartoon. Uh, I am going to be bringing you another mystery cartoon. I don't want to give it all away. Um, I hope you like this one. Um, and if this one gets passed to everybody, um, this is one of my favorite cartoons. Um, it's odd. Um, I had a toy line. So, but most of these did have toy lines. Um, actually, I go back to Captain N. you think that one would have had a toy line. Um, no, it did not. Um, you had your toy line with your Nintendo and your Nintendo cartridges. So, alright, I'm going to bring you another mystery episode. And I hope you guys like it. And I hope it gets past uh, the YouTube bots. So, here you go. Enjoy. Thundering across the stars to save the universe from the monster minds. Jay searches for his father to unite the magic root and lead his lightning league to victory over the changing form of Saw Boss. Wheeled warriors explode into battle. Lightning strikes. There's a power that comes from deep inside of you. Cause every day you're reaching toward the light. And you know there's a long way ahead of you. But when your wheels get you there. higher onto our wall of light. It's powered by the sun, and they're blocking it. It can't survive much longer. Then please, 
Hurry with the vehicles. We have to be ready when Father finally comes to lead us out of here. We might have to leave before that, Jace. No! Flora? Any sign of Father? Don't you think I'd tell you? All right. I won't be nasty, but I wish Jace wouldn't treat me like I was a nerd. Boom! Boom! He's coming! Boom's coming! I can feel it! Then Father must be coming, too. I told you, Gillian. No. I don't feel Audrey coming. You're wrong, Flora. Oon would never desert his master. He has to be coming. <laughs> Finally, Jace must be in there. Oh. Ah! But where's my father? I'll tell you the whole story. Meanwhile, could you put me back together again, please? Scour the area. If he's not out here, he must be in there. It was awful. <laughs> Where can I begin? Boom! Crash! They broke through the walls. But before that, your father almost had it figured out. Now, Oom, um, uh, merely think about what has happened. Master Audric tried to create a plan that would end starvation forever. He found the perfect spot for his experiment in another galaxy. But just as he succeeded... and changed his discovery into plants with evil brains. Call him Sawboss, has taken over my laboratory. create a good plan that would destroy those evil ones. Get the route to Jace, he said. He's your new master. Serve him faithfully. He'll know what to do. You must find your father. The route he carries must be joined with this one. The future of the universe depends on this and on me. How will I do it? Come. There was a small band of heroes who guided us to victory in desperate times. They were called 
the Lightning League. Their leader wore this ring. It is time for the knowledge of the past to save the future. The Lightning League is now reborn. With you, Jace, son of Audric as its leader. Me? Wear the ring of leadership. It has more power than you can imagine. But only if your heart and purpose are pure. Gillian, it's glowing. It's as though it's telling me that I will be able to lead us. Wherever you are, Father, I will find you. Nothing will stop me. And I shall serve my new master faithfully, me and my magic lamps. Thank you, Oom. If only the lamps really were magic. I heard that. Come on, you two. We're all in this together. Okay. I'm sorry, Oom. He has to be here. Impossible. We lost him. Fool. He has to be somewhere. Stormtrooper, scan the area. Yes, Saw Boss. I'm doing it, Saw Boss. Yes. Yes. Stop. That must be where he is. Get that root, destroy it, and everything else. With pleasure, Saw Boss. And now, one more thing, Jace. This vehicle armed force I made for your father. Learn to use it well. It's yours now. Mine. Armed force is mine. They'll never get it. Armed Force and I will turn them back. With me at your side. Get him, Jace. Get him. We'll win, won't we, Jace? Of course we'll win. Uh, show me how to work the laser on this thing. None of the weapon systems are finished yet, Jace. Oh, no! Then that means we're finished off. Lasers or no lasers, they're not taking us without a fight. Jace. It is wise never to fight unless it is necessary. But but we have to stop the monster minds. Watch. Jace, you are no, no, no. Hold back. Hold back. The quest continues. They're going away. They were afraid of my magic lance. Nothing evil can penetrate our wall of light, but their vines shut out more and more of the sun, making the wall weaker. And soon it will be gone. Gillian, you can build or repair anything, and you know magic too. We need something to get us safely out of here so I can find my father. So we can find his father. What we need is a space barge. Gillian, can you build one? Hmm. Not in the brief time before our wall of light is gone. However, it'll crash on the wall of light, Gillian. My wall only stops evil, Jace. It lets good enter. just had to break down on me again, didn't you? Uh, sorry about plowing up your tomato patch, folks, but don't expect me to pay for it. Of course not. Good. I know I'm crazy for asking, but you wouldn't happen to have a spare thermal siphon diode, would you? Of course. Thanks.
Well, uh, see you around. Take us with you. Oh, sure, kid. That's my business, moving anybody and anything. Thanks. Get on board. Gillian, start up the vehicles. Whoa, first the money. Kirk Storm Sailor doesn't haul anybody or anything for free. Money? Where would we get money? <laughs> Sorry, kid. No cash, no hurt. Would uh, gold be acceptable? Herc Storm Sailor, captain of the pride of the skies, at your service. Gillian, where do we get gold? Shh. Gillian built that battle base to go with our five defensive vehicles. Watch what you're doing! I was afraid you were hurt. Oh, that kid is real strange. I am not. I was created from a plant by Gillian and Audric. I understand plants and animals and even people. Sort of. Excuse me, but I have your gold on board. Is this enough, Mr. Storm Sailor? Please, uh, call me Herc. Where did you get that gold? From lead. Before long, it will change back to lead. I had to work fast. <laughs> uh, my old control bridge wasn't so darn complicated. Your ground here is too soft. We're just digging a hole instead of taking off. But the only hard ground is outside the wall of light. Which won't protect us much longer. The sun is getting lower and lower. I got it, kid. Hit the leeway thrusters. OK, you guys, hang on to your hats, because we're heading for the solid ground. Using the communicator on your wrist, you can control the vehicles with the voice command. All right! Armed force, let's go! Command, acknowledge. Command acknowledged. And down. Master, we did it! We 
we stop them? Yeah, but we're still stuck in this bitch. Drill Sergeant, defend me! What's wrong with that machine? Flora? Thanks! Now get back to the ship. Oon, take her back before she gets hurt. I have to keep fighting. M -m me master Hurry! Won't this help us rise? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> hey, we're going up. We're gonna make it this time. No, wait. My master is still out there. Yeah, well, you want to go get him? Yes, I'll save him. But all the doors are closed. <laughs> at my gold. <laughs> oh, isn't that the prettiest sight in the universe? <laughs> hey, hey, what's going on? This is Lid. Uh, sorry, I had a little problem. But don't worry, you'll be paid. That's a promise, Herc. You're darn right, because I'm sticking with you from now on until I get my loot. You're not shaking me for one second. We'll find you, Father, wherever you are. Because like that space lightning, we're unstoppable. We're the Lightning League. And together we'll destroy the Monster Minds forever. Transformers sold separately from Hasbro. 
Joe's going to turn back. Cobra attacks. Going into action with action packs. Motorized action packs for fighting in close and going where vehicles can't. Cobra's hiding on that hill. The rope walker, radar station, anti-aircraft gun, and helicopter. Here comes Cobra with the counterattack. Battling Joe with Cobra action packs. Rope crosser, borer, mountain climber, and pom-pom gun. Cobra! Yo, Joe! G.I. Joe! Adventure of G.I. Joe. Action packs and figures sold separately. Go, Joe! Yeah, this is great. Is uh, all the stuff that that all these characters can do, and then Panther and Thun and uh, Battle Cat were just these solid animals that could not like change into anything. You put armor on them and shit. Um, but he's flocked and he's purple. Uh, love this stupid toy, even though it's like it does nothing. I mean, it's super basic, but what the hell? All right, I hope you like that cartoon. Um, yet again, um, couldn't give much of it away. I don't want to give any of the information away. So, you know, I, if I get tagged, it's 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 nothing. Um, I'm sitting here playing with this guy. Rio Blast, man. The He-Man figure that is all just guns everywhere. Look, he's got guns in his hip. He's got he pop his things down. He's got guns in his chest that flip down. You know that's not supposed to happen like that because he's been broke for years now. And his legs open up and guns were supposed to be in there because you know it was the 1980s. So weird, right? Just put guns everywhere on a guy. Can't do that nowadays. I don't know. Maybe you can. Everybody loves saying that. Well, you can't get away with that nowadays. Well, did you try? So. <laughs> All right, Rio, but great, 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 great uh, uh, 70s mustache there in the 1980s. So, all right. Um, we're going to bring you another third of Mystery Cartoon. Um, so, here you guys go. I hope you guys love it. Um, if not, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I think this is, hopefully this will get past the bots, because I really think that, that I would love, I love showing all three of these cartoons. So, have fun and enjoy, and I'll be back. Beware, Scott, oh! when the moon is full. Oh no, not again. It's a hairy situation. I'll die if anyone sees me like this. Hey man, say, don't be shy if it happens to you. <sighs> Hi, Grandpa. Good morning, Scotty. It's fun being different. Dude. Only my friends Booth and Styles know my hairy secret. I'm feeling hairy and my teeth are mean. I got a weird complexion and I, I want to scream. <laughs> Teen Wolf coming out to play. Grandpa. Good morning, Scotty. You really shouldn't be chasing Mrs. Seslick's cat. She thinks her family's weird enough as it is. I'll get you this time. Land sakes, if he doesn't start behaving himself, we're gonna have to put up a beware of the grandpa sign. Rise and shine, Scott. Breakfast is almost ready. I'll be there in a sec. Oh, Grandma, I fixed your favorite breakfast, table scraps. Do you want them in your bowl? Oh, don't bother, Frida. You know how I like to beg for them. Grandma, what's that book? 
Oh, it's our family photo album. I haven't seen that album for years. Where'd you find it? I just dug it up. Gee, these pictures are so dark. That's because they were taken by torchlight. Hey, who are those hairy, ugly creatures? Your roots, dear. That is your great uncle Seymour. You take after him, Scott. Wow, how gross. You just keep eating your herbs and potions and you'll have fur just like Uncle Seymour. Aren't there pictures in our family album of anybody who's not so hairy? Well, oh, there's my cousin Wolfgang. What kind of a photo is that? He's got his mouth around someone's ankle. I don't believe it. There's not one picture of a normal person. I, I don't feel like breakfast. I've lost my appetite. May I be excused? Of course, son. But you're overreacting. I'd say we're about as normal as any family. I've got you now! <laughs> Coming. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I thought maybe you'd want to help me out at the drive-in tonight, you know? I've got a lot of merchandise to push. There's going to be a werewolf marathon. I'm going to need some extra help, so... Uh... Hey, what's that? Oh, uh, uh, nothing. It's just my family album. Family album? You mean your werewolf family album? No. Wait! Hey, this is great! These are real werewolves! Do you know how much money we can make by selling these pictures? Forget it. No one's going to see these photos. Everyone would find out my family secret. Then I'd never get a date. Scott, you're missing out on a big opportunity. Don't you know? Girls like a guy with a hairy chest. Hey, there's Pamela Wells. You've got a chance to be rich and all you can think about is Pam? Uh, hi, Pam. No! Oh, yeah! Come on, Daisy! Stop it! Daisy, stop! Oh! I can't figure Daisy out. The way she always goes crazy for you, Scott. I, I was wondering if you'd like to go to the movies tonight. Well, don't wonder long. I'm going with Mick. <laughs> oh! 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 Some guard dog you are, letting Scott get close to Pam. Here, I'll get your books for you. Pam's my girl. Stay away from her if you know what's good for you. Cool it, Mick. Pam and I just fell down and we... Hand them over. You okay? Sure. Now that you're here. You go home, Daisy. Struck out again, huh? Yep. I... My family album! What about it? Look at it! Yeah, it's the school yearbook. Look at that great shot of me, huh? Where's your family album? It's gotta be in Mick's car! <laughs> I'm sunk. Let's take the Howmobile. Your clunker will never catch up with Mick's car. What, you'll catch him on foot? Oh, no. Not again. Not now. I'll die if anyone sees me like this! Hey, slow down! Wait for me! Hmm. If I can get that album first... I can make some big bucks!
check my oil. I've... Hey! Ooh. Can you give me a lift? I've been jogging and I'm really bushed. <laughs> uh, sure, Scott. Get in. My mother warned me about talking to strange shrubbery. Back to normal. You won't believe this. That's some story. Where to now? Anywhere. Just drive. Who cares? My life is ruined. We'll go to the burger joint. You need to relax. Look at this town. It's so commercial. Everything is wolf this or wolf that. If they only knew. If you don't get your family album back, they will. Don't remind me. Look, there's Mick's car. Your luck's starting to change. Yeah, probably from bad to worse. Not here. They must have taken the books inside. Wait here. Hi, Pam. Fancy meeting you here. What are you doing, Scott? Following me or something? Oh, yeah. I'd follow you anywhere. <laughs> anywhere? How about to the ends of the earth? Sure. No problem. <laughs> Knowing you, you'd probably fall off. Hey, come on, Pam. Let's face it. We're nuts about each other. We are not nuts, but you are. You're weird. Really weird. Scott! Hey, what are you doing with your arm around my girl? Oh, hi, Mick. Fancy meeting you here. Don't hi me. Just answer my question. I, it's not what you think. I was just scratching an itch for her. But I don't have an itch. Why wait till you get one? My motto is scratch now, itch later. Shut up. Stay away from my girl. Understand? Stay away. <laughs> that ought to cool off Mr. Hot Stuff for a while. Come on, Pam. Let's get out of here. <laughs> hey, I didn't eat this stuff. Well, you got it in your lap. I don't care if you stick it in your ear. You still have to pay for it. <sighs> Little monster. Hello, Wolverton Times? What would you pay for some photos of werewolves for your newspaper? No, I'm talking real werewolves. All right! I like those high numbers. Listen, I'll get back to you in a couple hours. Better be cool, Scott. You're starting to fuzz up again. Cool? I can't be cool. How can I be cool? Cats are cool. I've got to be honest, Scott. You're not beautiful when you're angry. I'm not angry. I'm happy. See? Hey, careful with the upholstery. Look. There they are. Oh, oh, oh. Get down and be quiet. Gosh, I can't take you anywhere. They're going into the car wash. Pull in. What do you think you're doing? I'm going to get the family album out of Mick's trunk inside the car wash. You're asking for trouble. You shouldn't have left your loony dog in there. Oh, he's just a puppy. Some puppy. Oh, what? Oh, oh. 
How do you like to make a quick buck? But just let me borrow your hat and jacket for a couple of minutes. Well, I... Okay, I'll take a break. Easy come, easy go. What are you nosing around my trunk for? Oh, man, good buddy, what's going down? You're going down if you don't tell me what you're up to. Good buddy, I was just making sure you had plenty of air in your spare. It's part of our friendly service. Since when did you start working here? Just a couple of minutes ago, but I can't take the pressure. I quit. Hey, man, you owe me a dollar. That'll be eleven dollars and thirty cents, Mrs. Grieber. Scott, I see you've lost your temper again. You really must learn to control it. But Dad, I lost the family album. Grandma's photo album? If anyone sees those pictures, I know. Don't worry, I'll get it back. And get home before sundown. Remember, there's a full moon tonight. Oh, no. The full moon. Just what I need. I'm going to be a walking fur ball. Let's go, Boo. What's that stuff for? How else am I going to get into Mick's trunk? Why don't you just cut the top off with a giant can opener? You're right. I'm being ridiculous. But things will work out. Mick's going to the drive-in tonight. We'll go there, too, and just play it by ear. Yeah, long-pointed, shaggy ears. Where's Mick? I gotta move fast before the moon starts doing its number on me. Get your werewolf t-shirts, werewolf fangs, everything you need to be ugly. There's Styles trying to make a fast buck as usual. Keep an eye out for a reporter named Waldo from the Times. He's looking for me in this werewolf outfit. I've got a big deal cooking. And hand out these flyers, too. If my scheme works, my favorite fat friend, you'll be knee-deep in cheeseburgers. Big prize. Tonight only. Anyone who has a copy of the Wolverton High yearbook wins a ten-pound bag of popcorn. Where are you going? Home, to get my yearbook. Forget it, just hand out the flyers. There's Mick's car. Have you figured out a plan? Not yet. I'll just have to wait for a break and make my move. Hey, Pam, I'm going to see Styles. Now's my chance. Red hot werewolf stuff. I've got masks. They're horrifying. They're terrifying. They're petrifying. They're half price. You interested in the mask, Mick? No, but I'd wear one if I had a face like yours. Here's my yearbook. Now give me my popcorn. How about that? I've got a winner. I'll have to look at it in the light here to certify that it's the real thing. OK, but no funny business or I'll butter your head. Yep, looks OK. Just give this to the guy at the snack bar for your free popcorn. My signature's good as gold. Enjoy! I'm getting some popcorn. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, but hurry, the movie's about to start. I just couldn't stay away from you, Pamela. You better get out of here before Mick comes back. He'll kill you. I can't help myself. When I'm around you, I feel like... An animal. Scott, your voice, it sounds so... macho. I, I, I don't know what's come over me. I... There it is. There, what is? Scott? Where'd you go? <laughs> what is it, babe? A werewolf! There's a werewolf in the car! It ate Scott! A werewolf? Styles! First, he makes a fool out of me with that phony popcorn coupon, and while I'm gone, he makes a pass at my girl. What are you talking about? Styles is wearing a werewolf outfit. Wait till I get my hands on him. What? It's the yearbook. How did... Well, you must be Styles. I'm Waldo from the Times. <laughs> Boy, that's a fabulous outfit. Oh, is that the uh, photo album you called me about? <laughs> Cut the act. Here's the money. Nice, uh, doing business with you. Styles! That rat! I'll get him! Hey, the picture is starting. I didn't know the movie was in 3D. The movie hasn't started. <laughs> Thanks, Styles. <laughs> I thought you didn't like appearing like that in public. Only when I want to tear somebody limb from limb with my bare paws. Hey, take it easy. What are you talking about? Hand over the album. It, it, it was just a scam, buddy. You know, nothing for something. I was just trying to get it back for you. I, I wouldn't really sell you out, old friend. You know that? Is that why Waldo is bringing you this money? Oh, well, that, yeah. Well, I just thought I might turn a buck or two out of it, but... I only intended to give Waldo a fake book. Styles, if you weren't my best friend, I'd... I'd bite you! Well, things turned out okay after all. You two-timing swindler! I paid a hundred bucks for a high school yearbook! <laughs> hey, Waldo, old buddy, your money cheerfully refunded, if not totally satisfied. Something must have gotten mixed up. The only thing that's mixed up here is your head. Hey, it's old home week. How, how are you, Mick? You've got some nerve making a play from my girl. Huh? And I don't like being called out on a wild werewolf chase. S Scott! Where are you, old buddy? I, I need you! Great, the movie's starting. I guess I do look a lot like Uncle Seymour. Now that I get a closer look. <laughs> that was one werewolf marathon Wolverton will never forget. You put on quite a show. Oh, if my family were only normal, none of this would have happened. Oh, come on. You've got a great family. You know that. Oh, I guess you're right. Even if they are a little loony. You have the album. Good work, son. You kept our family secret. This is a special occasion. It calls for a picture. Come on, everyone. Oh, no. 
You look sharp, Scott. Howl, everybody. <laughs> Chew it delicious, bigger than your figure. Can delicious get you biting on more than you can chew? Food is delicious, bigger than your figure. Can delicious get you biting more than you can chew? So then delicious, chew it can delicious get you biting on more than you can chew? Channel 2 News, Saturdays at 6, 30 and 11, keeping you a step ahead. The following is an ABC Kidivision movie special presentation. Join the fun and adventure coming up as the Care Bears family returns with an all-new episode featuring the Care Bears team. Don't forget me. Immediately followed by an ABC Kidivision movie special. The original Care Bears movie. Let's hear it for the Care Bears! Yeah! After these messages, we'll be right back. But, uh, uh... Superpower figures. I think I have all of these. Well, maybe not. I might be missing one. Um, hope you guys love this, those cartoons. The three mystery cartoons at the end there. Uh, hopefully three. Um, and I, I added some new commercials and some new stuff to throw in there in the middle. So. I'm not going to lie. Like I said, I have fun coming in here every week and bringing you new cartoons and airing stuff and getting you little tidbits of information and whatnot. Um, like I said, when I have to when I have to air some stuff, I have to like I have to edit it, put it all together, try to upload it. Then they tell me if I can get it past the uh, bots. So I'm sorry. Sometimes I give you these little weird vague episodes, um, but the weird vague episodes will bring fruit later by letting me show more cartoons. Uh, I'm ever expanding. Uh, I am. I am slowly building up hard drives full of cartoons to bring into you guys. So as soon as I find out if I can air them, then I air them. Uh, if not, they just get shoved aside. So um, I know that a lot of people have asked for cartoons. Uh, and I will try to air whatever ones I can air. Um, but there are just some that, 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 that no. They're, they are not getting aired, at least not on mine. Um, because, you know, the, the copyright holders still keep a iron grip on them. And which, you know, well, they should, I guess. You know, it's their product. You know, I'm showing their product because I love their product. And I want it out there. Um, I want to try to save Saturday morning cartoons as much as I can. And save the stuff that's been lost. And whatnot. So we are still looking for cartoons that are lost. We are still looking for old VHS tapes. Like I said, if you don't want to run a VHS tape, man, try to burn that sucker over to a CD or something, man. Just so we can get it. I can put it on the computer and I can air it. Maybe. So if you have episodes of Turbo Teen or Meatballs of Spaghetti or Pandemonium or stuff that I don't, I cannot find all the episodes. The one I can't try, Trollkins. I cannot find any episodes of Trollkins. So if you have a VHS tape or something with Trollkins on it, and you want to help me out, send me a copy. You know what? I greatly appreciate it. Um, so, you know, Saturday morning cartoons will never die as long as this guy's alive. So, hey, maybe I'll pass it on to one of my kids so that they can keep this up, this show going. Um, you know, I'm going to keep pounding us out week after week after week after week. Uh, I might take a hiatus, you know, take a week off. Um, I doubt it because I like doing this. Uh, but if I do, you know, maybe I'll throw a, 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 a best of episode up. You know, I'll, I'll take some episodes of some stuff we already aired, mix them up, throw them out. Especially some of them early episodes um, that people just haven't seen. Maybe because I know we're getting a lot of views now. Uh, we didn't get a lot of views in the beginning. So if you haven't found them early episodes, 
maybe I'll take those early episodes, maybe I'll cut them up and I'll slap them together and make one, you know, instead of like two small episodes, I'll maybe I'll make one bigger episode. So, you know, whatever. You know, if you like it, let me know. If you don't, let me know. If you want to see other stuff that maybe I can find, let me know. If you have stuff that I would love to air, let me know. Um, you know, I got people telling me, you know, like, hey, I got this box set. I got this. I, I, I'm afraid for you to send that to me. Um, I'm afraid to get lost. I don't want you sending me, like, you know, real box. Uh, if you want to send stuff to me so that we have a copy, so we can keep a copy, uh, so you want to share it, that's great. Um, I can't guarantee returns. Um just because that's hard to do. I do, I have my own business to run. I have this to run. I have a day job. I have kids. Um, so it's, it gets really hard for me to drop stuff off here and there and, and to package stuff up and get it shipped off. I literally, I do eBay, but I got a guy that takes care of that for me. So, that being said, I hope you guys had a great Saturday morning. Uh, Saturday morning, Monday morning, whenever you watch this. I hope your day is awesome. Uh, I hope you... Keep loving Saturday morning cartoons. I hope you stay a kid inside. I hope you're showing your kids these cartoons. Um, I've introduced a lot of people some new cartoons that they did not know existed because I started doing this show uh, locally. So, you know, uh, if you ever want to email me, send me a message, whatever. Um, find us on Facebook at uh, Group Therapy TV. Uh, we do Saturday morning serials on there. So you can look up Saturday morning serials on Facebook. You can look up Saturday morning serials on, no, oh, shoot, group therapy on Twitter, on Instagram. Um, you know, like I said, this, I just keep wanting to grow. we we'll keep growing. Um, like I said, watch our other show. Um, we're always bringing little new information and stuff like that to there on comic books, video games, uh, horror movies. You name it, I I will I will interview and I've got a lot of interviews lined up, and we're just keep growing. So, you know, like I said, like, subscribe, comment below, um, and uh, remember, you're never too old to love Saturday morning cartoons, and just because you grow older doesn't mean you have to grow up. So I will see you next Saturday morning for more Saturday morning serials. Take care. Later.